Good day, YouTubers. It's me and Ollie. Um, we're uh, making a revisit to uh, the old RAF Wainfleet bombing range. Um, I'm going to film the ships again, but this time I've got an extended uh, pole that the GoPro goes on. So um, hopefully we'll get to see some stuff that no one ever gets to see, like on top of the ships, um, through the holes. And also, for the first time ever, I'm going to go underwater or rather the GoPro is, um, so hopefully it'll uh, it'll not let in water as it's not supposed to. Um, after this video, um, there's also RF Donna Nook, where me and Cindy went a few weeks ago, with Cooper of course, and um, filmed some amazing stuff on there. There was a couple of £500 bombs on the beach, so you'll get to see them. Obviously they're inert, um, they're just empty shells, um, so, but still, if you ever go on the on any bombing range, do not touch anything unless you know what you're doing. Um, fortunately, I know what I'm doing, so it's like, there you go, I can stand on top of a 500 pound bomb and it not go off because it's an inert. Right, let's get into it. Okay, here we are at the landing craft. As you can see, there's a bit of parachute there and some bloody big holes. This is the old landing craft. And here's the tugboat. Um, now I've got an extended pole on this. So you should be able to see up there which is the sort of thing no one's ever seen before. Oops. That squelching you can hear is my boots. I um, I went a bit too deep and uh, flooded. See that is the head of a 25 pounder. And it's falling to pieces badly, as you can see.
Right, let's do some underwater filming. Morning everybody, it's me, how are you doing? Uh, today I'm at uh, Donanook, well I'm not actually, yet. Uh, currently at Salt Fleet, which is um, one of the uh, World War II military ranges. Uh, we're at um, Howden's Pullover. So I'm just going to show you this sign, look. Danger, do not touch anything. You may be killed. Right, uh, with that warning out of the way, here we go, look. Um, it's a beautiful day. So what we've got down here is uh, Salt Fleet. And then all the way here, this is the start of Dunlop bombing range. And uh, you probably won't be able to see, but uh, right there, over there is uh, the first targets on the range. What we're going to do is walk, walk along here to the first quadrant and I'll show you the quadrant uh, but on the way there'll be some old pillboxes uh, from World War II because um, this was used as um, a testing range for World War II. Okay let's get on with it. Right here's the um, first pillbox. Um, so, well, let's have a quick look inside look full of sand and beer cans. Oh, wow. Let's have a look around. You can see all these impressions here 
would have been sandbags that have now either eroded or whatever. Um, here's another one. Oh. I have no idea whether you can actually see anything in there. There you go. There we go, look. This would have been my lookout against the Germans. And it uh, looks like the brick there is up, look, so no one can get him. So uh, there we go. First pillbox. Right, here's the, um, the second pillbox that we come along. Uh, this one, as you can see, is slipping into the water. Um, and one mucky dog. Don't mind him. Right. I'm just going to poke him round a lot, so you can see. There they are. Not much to see, really. Um, okay. Let's go along here a bit. Very nice. All right, there we go. Right, that's the last pillbox I'll show you. Um, I think we're at the quadrant next. Okay. Um, I thought there weren't any more pillboxes, but there is. There's this one here, which actually looks like um, a spotting quadrant. Um, so you can go down there oh, and go up there. Um, little room there. Uh, we've got that one there, and then the tower. We're going to go. I'll show you the tower in a second. Okay, here we are on top of the uh, tower. Um, those two there are what we've just seen. Um, I think they would have been spotting quadrants. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is the tower. Uh, the old tower, should I say. Um, from when it was a World War II bombing range. And of course now it's a modern day bombing range, which is Donanook. Uh, for those not aware, Donanook is on the east coast of Lincolnshire in England. So um, yeah. We would have uh, watched uh, some Lancasters bombing from exactly where I'm stood right now, 70 years ago. Okay, here we are on top of the uh, tower. Um, this is the old tower as far as I'm aware, from when it was World War II. Uh, there's the uh, two um, pillboxes I've just had a look at, which I think one might have been a quadrant, it might not have. The quadrants are basically spotting um, they're for spotters um, to score the bombs. Uh, so as we look out now, from where I would have been, from where I'm standing, um, 70 years ago, we would have seen Lancasters uh, dropping bombs out there. Uh, right, we're now on the range. Hopefully, you can hear this. It's really windy. Um, just wanted to show you this. There's a load of mist. I just stop uh, where I hopefully you can see. And a big doggy. Okay, uh, this is one of the major targets of the bomb. So uh, there is the centre section there, look. Um, and the mist is crazy. This is such the weirdest thing. We are on a bombing range and just mist everywhere. My glasses are steamed up. It's crazy. Brilliant. Uh, there's the remains of an old tank here. You can't see anything of it now, look. How about this for a find, look? Um, obviously I can't take this off the beach because we're on a bone range and we're not really supposed to touch anything. So, but that's the uh, tail fin off a 500 pound bomb. Uh, complete with his drogue chute, look. And I'm guessing his drogue chute didn't open properly because that doesn't look right. So, uh, that is quite a beast. Um, 
I wonder if that means the date's 5.13. And the head of him is right there, which I shall show you in a second now. Here we go, look, here's the um, 500 pounder. That is a beast. Strike to remove. Uh, let's have a look, what's that say? Oh, it's a 480. 485 pounds. And empty. So, what a beast they are. Hey! And over there in the distance is another one. I'll show you that one as well. Right, here we go. Is the, uh, the second one. Look, we'll be able to read a little bit more. Look. Uh, retarder, inflatable air, blah, 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 blah. Right, whatever happens, if you do find one of these on the beach, do not start prattling about with them, okay? I'll tell you why. Uh, the parachute is pushed out the back by an explosion, okay, a detonator. And you really do not want to be prattling about with one of these if the detonator goes, goes off. Um, there's the 500 pounder off him, so we'll just go and have a look straight to that. Or 485, should I say. So they've obviously dropped two of them um, when they did. There we go. Yeah, the doggy's deciding to have a look. There we go. It's a BDU 50C stroke B. Um, Weight 485 pounds. Wow, that is quite a beast. There we go. Quite a beast. Indeed. There we go. Some new targets on the range. I've never seen these ones before. Cooper's checking them out. There we go. Look. Uh, we'll drag this out and shot at it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, looks like a uh, freshly built target here. Look, let's go have a look at it. Uh, it looks to me like it's been shot at a lot, as you'll see any second now. Go look. Um, so these will be aircraft uh, bullets, probably 20 millimeters, and these smaller ones look are 7.62, which would have been the uh, Chinook, I think. Well, they would have been one one about. So yeah, these are small ones, big one. So um, yeah, and it's Cooper. And there's another target over there, and they built they built like a um, some mound for some reason. No idea why. So. Um, Oh, it's interesting stuff. Okay, uh, we're now in the centre um, target, which is a um, definitely a bombing target. And I'll just show you around. Look. Um, so they basically come in from there, lining up with this, and drop the bombs here. Um, and I'll show you some impacts. Now you can tell that these are probably three kilogram, probably I say probably they almost certainly are. Uh, three kilogram flash and smoke look. There's the thins that have hit that. <coughs> There's the one here. He's had a big impact there. And here he is a piece of one. Um there we are. So um yeah, lots of impacts, awesome. Okay, we're now at um the base or the control tower. There's some of the targets, look, that um, they've rigged up. Uh, they'll be dragged out as and when they need them. Uh, there it is behind, behind that shed. That's the control tower. I'll just come this way up. There he is. And that thing stood up on its own is um, one of the quadrants where they do the, the scoring. And over here, guess what we got? Oh yeah, what's that? 
three 500 pounders and a thousand pounder. So, um, there you go, look at these beasties. And Cooper's come to investigate as well. There we are, look. Look at the size of that thing. That is a thousand pounder there. He's a big monster. Pretty cool. Cool stuff. Um, I'm not sure which aircraft has dropped these, but uh, I bet they made one out of a thump when they've gone in. And those weird things are the drag chutes. Um, so. Yeah, fantastic stuff it really is. Um, I think I was actually wrong about the detonator in these. I don't think there is a detonator. Um, I think it's just a cable system um, which pulls out the drag chute. Um, so, but it's still not worth prattling about with. Um, but I can't see there being any detonators in them because if there was, um, then... Uh, You know, we wouldn't be stood here right now. In fact, they are. Look, that's what they've. What's some of them? I'll just turn the camera upside down. Look. Warning. <clears throat> Spring loaded cover. So there you go. That's how the chute comes out. So I was, I think, wrong about the um, the detonator in there. There isn't one. So, uh, but still, you don't be proud about them. All right. All right. Lovely stuff.